Niger is on track to become an insanely wealthy nation. The country has recently resumed crude oil exports through a pipeline operated by the China National Petroleum Corporation, CNPC, a move that is intended to help Niger repay a $400 million loan it took from China. This decision raises important questions about the balance between foreign investment, debt repayment, and the equitable distribution of resource wealth within the country. On the surface, the resumption of oil exports appears to be a positive development for Niger's economy. The pipeline's reopening is expected to increase the country's crude production from 20,000 barrels per day to 110,000 barrels per day, significantly boosting its export capabilities and potential revenues. This could provide much-needed funds for infrastructure development, social services, and other critical investments that could benefit the Nigerian people. However, the reality is more nuanced. The loan from China, intended to support Niger's development, has now become a burden that must be repaid through the country's oil exports. This dynamic raises concerns about the potential for African wealth to flow abroad rather than being reinvested locally to benefit local communities. The involvement of CNPC in the pipeline's construction and operation also raises questions about the degree of foreign control over Niger's oil resources and the distribution of the resulting profits. This situation is not unique to Niger, it is emblematic of a broader pattern of resource extraction in Africa, where foreign companies and governments often reap a disproportionate share of the benefits, while local populations struggle to see tangible improvements in their quality of life. Countries like Botswana have managed to avoid some of these pitfalls by carefully managing their resource wealth and investing it in sustainable development, but such success stories remain the exception rather than the rule. The economic implications of Niger's oil boom are further complicated by the broader geopolitical context. The country's decision to distance itself from its former colonial power, France, and align more closely with Russia and China has caused alarm in Western capitals. For decades, Niger was considered a key ally in the fight against extremism in the Sahel region, with France and the United States playing significant roles in the country's security and economic affairs. However, the rise of President Abdurrahman Tiani and his overtly anti-Western stance has upended this long-standing relationship. The West's concern is not merely about losing a strategic ally in the fight against terrorism, it is also about losing control over a region rich in natural resources, including Niger's oil reserves. The shift in Niger's alliances, particularly its growing ties with Russia and China, represents a direct challenge to the West's long-standing dominance in the region. This realignment is part of a broader trend in Africa, where many countries are seeking to diversify their partnerships and reduce their dependence on former colonial powers. For the West, this trend is viewed with concern and, in some cases, outright hostility. Western governments have expressed alarm over the potential for increased Russian and Chinese influence in the region and have called for increased diplomatic and economic pressure on Niger to bring it back into the Western fold. However, these efforts are likely to be met with resistance, as Niger's leadership sees its new alliances as a way to assert its independence and reduce its reliance on Western powers. As more African countries seek to diversify their partnerships, the traditional power dynamics in the region are shifting. This trend has the potential to reshape the global order, with Africa playing an increasingly important role in a multipolar world. The West's discomfort with the idea of Niger becoming a major oil exporter stems from the recognition that this development will likely enhance Africa's ties with Russia and China, further reducing the West's influence in the region. The question remains, is Niger's oil boom a blueprint for other African nations, or does it highlight the perils of resource dependency and foreign exploitation? The challenges facing Niger are not unique, they are shared by many resource-rich African countries that have struggled to translate their natural wealth into sustainable economic development. The reliance on foreign investment and expertise to develop critical infrastructure, as exemplified by the CNPC-operated pipeline, often comes at a cost, as foreign companies and governments seek to maximize their profits at the expense of the host country. The so-called resource curse, where resource wealth can actually hamper economic growth and development, is a persistent challenge that African nations must grapple with. Moreover, the role of foreign powers in Africa's resource sectors is a complex and often contentious issue. 
While foreign investment is often necessary to develop infrastructure and extract resources, it can also lead to a situation where the benefits of resource wealth are disproportionately captured by foreign companies and governments. This pattern has been a common theme in Africa's history, from the colonial period to the present day, and it remains a significant challenge for countries like Niger. However, the broader implications of Niger's oil boom extend beyond the economic realm, touching on issues of regional integration and cooperation in Africa. The development of cross-border infrastructure, such as the Niger-Benin pipeline, has the potential to strengthen economic ties between African nations and promote greater regional integration. This is particularly important for landlocked countries like Niger, which depend on their neighbors for access to global markets. In the end, Niger's oil boom has placed the country at the center of a complex geopolitical landscape where global powers are competing for influence over Africa's resources. China, Russia, and the West all have a stake in Niger's oil sector, and the country must navigate these competing interests carefully to avoid being caught in the crossfire. The case of Niger highlights the broader challenges and opportunities facing Africa as it seeks to assert its economic sovereignty and chart its own development path. While the discovery and exploitation of natural resources can provide much-needed revenue, the equitable distribution of this wealth and the management of foreign influence remain critical challenges that must be addressed. The global powers are vying for influence in Africa, and the resource-rich nation of Niger finds itself at the center of this geopolitical tug-of-war. China has managed to secure a significant foothold in Africa's lucrative resource sectors, raising concerns about the long-term impact on African sovereignty. Simultaneously, Russia's growing presence in the region represents a new challenge for the Western powers. In Niger, this dynamic is playing out in complex ways. The government in Niger has been forging closer ties with Russia, including reports of Russian military advisors and equipment being deployed to the country. This shift has alarmed the West, with the United States and European Union expressing concerns over Niger's strengthening relationships with Russia and China. The West is scrambling to maintain its influence in a region that is increasingly looking to diversify its alliances. However, Niger's leadership sees these new partnerships as a means to assert its independence and reduce reliance on Western powers. Navigating this geopolitical minefield is no easy task for Niger as the country must balance the competing interests of China, Russia, and the West, all while ensuring its sovereignty is not compromised. One potential strategy for Niger is to adopt a more pragmatic approach to its foreign relationships. This could involve diversifying its economic partnerships, investing in domestic capacity building, and pursuing regional integration initiatives that reduce the country's reliance on any single foreign power. Transparency and accountability in the management of Niger's oil revenues will also be critical, as corruption and mismanagement have long plagued Africa's resource sectors. The future of Niger's oil industry holds both promise and uncertainty. The resumption of oil exports marks a significant milestone, but the country faces a daunting task in ensuring that its oil wealth translates into long-term prosperity. Diversifying the economy beyond oil, investing in sectors like agriculture and manufacturing, and equitably distributing the benefits of the oil boom will be essential. Navigating the volatile global oil market will also be a challenge for Niger. The country will need to adopt a flexible and adaptive approach, focusing on long-term planning and risk management to mitigate the impact of fluctuations in oil prices. One of the key lessons from Niger's experience is the importance of maintaining control over natural resources. While foreign investment is often necessary to develop infrastructure and extract resources, African nations must retain control over their resource sectors and ensure that the benefits of resource wealth are reinvested in their economies. This requires strong institutions, effective governance, and a commitment to transparency and accountability. Regional cooperation and integration in Africa also offer immense potential for Niger. By working together, African nations can strengthen their bargaining power in negotiations with foreign investors, develop shared infrastructure, and promote greater economic integration. This is particularly important for landlocked countries like Niger, which depend on their neighbors for access to global markets. If Niger stays the course and effectively navigates these challenges, the prospects for its long-term prosperity are promising.
The country's oil boom, coupled with strategic investments in diversifying its economy and strengthening regional cooperation, could transform Niger into a regional economic powerhouse. However, the path ahead is not without its risks. Missteps in managing the oil wealth, failing to address corruption, or succumbing to the geopolitical pressures of the great powers could derail Niger's progress. The country's leaders must demonstrate unwavering commitment to transparency, good governance, and a vision for sustainable development that benefits all Nigerians. In the end, Niger's success will not only have implications for the country itself but also serve as a model for other African nations grappling with the complexities of resource wealth and geopolitical maneuvering. By striking the right balance, Niger can not only secure its own future but also inspire a new era of African self-determination and prosperity. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.